In this tutorial we will create this promotional flyer design for social media in Adobe Illustrator. Don't forget to subscribe for more upcoming designs like this. So let's jump right into Illustrator. First go to File and create a new artboard with these dimensions. This is the default size of a flyer. Select CMYK if you want to print this flyer. We will select RGB for this tutorial because we want to create it for social media. Now first we will add a texture background for the flyer. Download all these files from the video description. Then drag this texture background in Illustrator. Align it to the center of the artboard. And scale it up according to the canvas. Select the ellipse tool, and create a circle while holding down the shift key. Align it to the center of the artboard. Then open the gradient panel. Apply a radial gradient to this circle. And invert it. Change the black side of this gradient to a bright orange color and the white side to another orange color like this. Click on this right slider of the gradient and decrease its opacity to zero. You can adjust the gradient slider from here and slightly scale up the circle to increase the shading. Note down the RGB codes for these orange colors and apply them in the gradient. Now we can place some food image here. Drag this food image in Illustrator. Align it to the center as well. And scale it down accordingly. You can always adjust the circle in the background. Now select this food image. Open the effect menu. And select drop shadow from the list. Note down these values for the shadow and hit OK. Now this image is looking more appropriate. Adjust the background shading accordingly. Select the background circle and the food image. And slightly move them towards the bottom side. Now press Ctrl A to select everything. Open the object menu. And lock the selection. Now we can work freely without disturbing the background. Now add some headline text for the flyer. Select the type tool, and write some headline here. Change its color to white. And align it to the center. Note down the font that I've used. Increase its font size to a larger value. Hold down the Alt key, and click and drag to create a copy. Replace this copy with the tagline. Use some decent font for this tagline. Decrease its font size accordingly. And place it closer to the headline. Note down the font that I've used for the tagline. Create a copy of this tagline and place it here. Now slightly decrease the opacity of this tagline to around 80%. Replace this text with the remaining headline. Now we will slightly bend this text in an arc. 
Here you can see this small icon which says make envelope. Click on this icon. Make sure that the style is set to arc. And horizontal is selected. Select a percentage around 30 and hit OK. Now this text is giving a nice effect. Place it closer to the headline. Slightly adjust the position of this full headline. Now we will add some fire effects for the flyer. Drag this fire image in Illustrator. Align it to the center. And scale it down according to the canvas. And adjust it on the top side like this. Now right click on this fire image. Go to transform. And select reflect. Select horizontal axis for the reflection and create a copy. Drag this copy towards the bottom side. Now add your logo at the top left corner. Drag your logo in Illustrator. Scale it down properly. And place it on a position like this. Now write some discount offer here. Select the ellipse tool, and create a small circle here. Change its color to white. Click on this small arrow to remove the fill and apply a stroke. Increase the stroke value to 2. Now open the effect menu. Distort and transform. And zigzag. Click on preview to check the effect in real time. Decrease the size to 2 pixels. Use 4 ridges per segment, and select smooth points from here. Now write some discount offer for this circle. Change its fill color to white. Use the same font for this text as the headline. Place it inside this circle shape. And adjust its font size accordingly. Select this full discount text. Slightly rotate it like this. And place it closer to the food image. Now add some text at the bottom side. Select the type tool, and click and drag to create a text box. Write some text about the food product. Change its color to white. And use the same decent font for this text box. Decrease its font size to a small value. Adjust the height of this text box. And align it to the center. Place it slightly towards the bottom side. And decrease its opacity to 80%. Select the rectangle tool, and create a small rectangle here. Click here to remove the fill and apply a stroke. Open the effect menu. 
and select round corners. Select a suitable value around 15 and hit OK. Now write some text for this rectangle. Change its color to white. And increase its font weight. Place it in the center of this rectangle. And adjust its font size accordingly. Align this rectangle in the center. Now we can add some fire particles here. Finally drag this flame particles image in Illustrator. Align it to the center. Scale it up to increase the particle space. And place it on a position like this. This flyer design is now complete. Open the object menu. And select unlock all. This will unlock the background. Select the rectangle tool. And create a rectangle equal to the size of the canvas. Press Ctrl A to select everything. Open the object menu and make a clipping mask. And here is the final output of the flyer design. Hope you liked this design tutorial. Don't forget to like this video and also subscribe to the channel. Stay tuned and I'll see you in the next one.